plants of Avalon in Ireland. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about why your cactus plant is going yellow. Now, there's many different causes of what can make a cactus go yellow. I'm going to talk about the most main ones in this video. Now, the first one will be not enough nutrients. And if you've got a cactus plant and it's been in the same soil for a number of years, the soil can get exhausted and it's good to repot your cactus plants at least every two to three years, even if they don't need to be, they're not, the roots aren't coming through the bottom or anything like that. It's good to freshen up the soil and this will give you a bit of a booster as well because even if you're regularly fertilising your cactus plants, the, the soil can still become quite caked and compacted and it's good to freshen it up. So make sure you repot regularly. Another thing as well is that when cactus plants have been in the same soil for a number of years, the pH can either get very, very high or very, very low. And most cactus plants prefer to have a little bit more of an, an acidic type of soil. And that's why rainwater is always best for watering cactus plants. If you're using tap water, and it's pretty neutral, that's not a problem. But if you're using tap water that's very high in lime and a very high pH, some cactus plants don't like this. And very, very hard water can cause very high alkaline soil as well. And this can also cause your cactus plants to go a bit yellow over time. So rainwater is always best if you can get it. And also freshen up the soil regularly repotting at least two to three years. Now another common causing of yellowing of cactus plants is soil pests and insect pests both on the actual cactus itself and also on the roots. Now root billy bugs will be the most common one they suck the life out of the roots and while they might not kill the roots the plant may still be able to take up water so it's, on the outside it's looking quite plump it will affect the, the actual nutrients that the roots can take up so the cactus plant can go yellow. So even if you don't see any signs of pests on the outside and it's looking yellow, take it out of the pot, check over the root system and check for any insect pests on the roots. And also insect pests on the foliage. I'm just going to show you one of ours here. This is one of our cereus cactus plants. I'm not sure of the exact ID of this type of cereus. As you can see, it's very yellow at the top here. This was in the summer all very green, but towards the end of the summer, we got an attack of some mealybugs growing at the top, which is why it's got a little bit brown there. We treated it with mealybugs. It's now mealybug free, but because the mealybugs attacked the plant, it took a lot of the chlorophyll and the nutrients out of the actual cactus plant, and this made it go yellow. So if you've got a yellowing cactus, check over it thoroughly that there's no signs of mealybugs and other type of pests because they do suck the, the colour out of your plants. And also another thing about insect pests, is, which is going to go on to the next thing now, is about viruses. Mealybugs, for example, tend to hop onto different types of plants and they're, they're terrible spreaders of viruses because they're sap-sucking pests. They, they take the bite out of the plants and then spread viruses to other plants. So if you notice a plant, both with mealybug and it's going yellow because of that, isolate it because although if it's an individual plant that's got an attack of a virus, it can be isolated to that plant. But if there's mealybugs about, they can spread it then to your other plants and then they can all get down with the virus. So this is common as well to have yellowing cactus plants due to viruses. And sometimes if it's a virus, nothing can save it. If the whole plant goes yellow, sometimes unfortunately it's going to be a goner. So that's an example of that one there, insect pests and uh, viruses are a pain and uh, lack of iron and lack of other nutrients in the soil can cause yellowing of your cactus plant so you want to make sure that you fertilize your cactus plants regularly throughout the spring and the summer at least once every month with a good quality cactus fertilizer now the last one will be too much light or not enough light both of these can cause your cactus plant to go very yellow if you have a cactus plant on its on a very, very sunny window, you live in a very sunny climate, and the glass can magnify the sun, 
10 times, even 50 times brighter than what it would be out in its natural habitats. And this magnifying strong sun can cause your cactus plants to go yellow. So too much sun can also cause this. Remember that cactus, they, they're growing, a lot of them do grow in very sunny climates. And you think of the desert when you think of a cactus plant. But the difference is they have fresh air going around them. And this ventilation helps to stop this yellowing. So if they're under glass and they're in a greenhouse and or in your house, that lack of ventilation can cause the yellowing and strong sunlight. And also too little light as well, if you've got a cactus plant too far away from a window or it's under the table. You often see many plants for sale at garden centres that are looking very yellow and stretched out. It looks terrible, they're not getting enough light and they need the light to, to produce chlorophyll to give them that lovely green healthy colour. So I hope you found that video useful and should you have a cactus that goes yellow, I know it's a very common thing and I've often been asked this question, then I hope this video did help you a lot. And before I end this video, I just want to give a very special thank you and a thumbs up to my wonderful fiance Hans, who has been behind the camera filming me today. So do go over to Hans's channel and do subscribe to him, Plant Daddy, links up above and give him a big thumbs up as well. And also don't forget to subscribe to me too. If you haven't done already, as I mentioned, do please subscribe to me. And also do check out me on Instagram, on Facebook and Twitter at Desert Plants of Avalon. You can also check out my website as well for growing tips on there, uh, desertplantsofavalon.com. And I want to wish you all an amazing plant-powered day!